Welcome to day eight of the Mindful Pilates session, uh, our mind, Mindful Pilates Challenge. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Today's um, session, you're going to need a book, okay? It can be a little book, it can be a big book. Um, the heavier the book, obviously, the harder the exercises become. Um, we're not loading the body too much, um, but it's just that extra little, little bit that can make a difference. So, we're going to take ourselves onto the mat. I'm just trying to find my book. So I've actually got The Ice Monster by David Williams. Okay, so we're going to start in a standing position, grounded through the feet. Um, you know, just this, this really nice strong position, slight bend through the knees, lift and lengthen through the spine, um, nice and open to the chest. And we, we start strong, which is really super important because it really lines us up nicely for a great efficient movement. We're going to take our feet just a little bit wider than shoulder width and we're just going to start with a, a, a chopping movement and you can take control of the speed of this and we start slower, we progress it up to a faster chop down, so as if you were going to chop wood. Okay, so we take it up to the sky and we draw it down to the knees. Okay, So we want to feel strong, in control. Yeah, we want to really use the body efficiently. So the back feels really great. So we're chopping that down. And you know, if that speed doesn't feel so good for you, slow it down, you know, work with what feels really great for your body. Once more, amazing, and then we bring it down. So we're going to work through our ABC squats now. So again, feet in that position where they're just a little bit wider than shoulder width. We're going to reach the book to 10 o'clock and draw it back up. We reach the book to 12 o'clock and then we reach the book to 2 o'clock. So I'm going to take it back to centre because I just really like the way it flows when that centred, uh, that 12 o'clock comes between everything else. Okay, so the bottom moves in the opposite direction of the hands. Okay, we think about how the weight through our feet shifts to allow us to move really well. And we take it deep into that squat. Remember, connecting the breath to the movement is super important. And we want it to, well, the legs to start feeling a little bit tired, the core to feel a little bit tired. You know, if not, we try and take that a little bit deeper. We move a little bit more. We ask a little bit more of the body. Okay, two more. Amazing. One final one. Fantastic, we draw it back up. So the next exercise, we're gonna start single leg to begin with, okay? So we're gonna hold the book in one hand and that same knee is going to rise up, okay? And we're going to press that hand to the sky. Okay, we'll just start there, really simple, so we can get an idea of the balance, the sweet spot. Okay, we draw up through the elbow and then hand to the sky. Yeah, just get it to flow, grounded through that supporting foot. Whoa. If you need fingertips on a wall, then you can. Okay, but we're challenging the body through balance and stability. Amazing. We don't grip through the core, we lengthen, we feel strong, we use the breath to help us. Okay, we take it to the other side. Okay, because this can sometimes feel very different from side to side, depending on our, where our imbalances lie. Okay, so the knee comes up, we draw it up to the sky. Down. Okay, so it's the same arm as the knee that's lifted. Efficiency through the shoulder. 
engage through the core feel strong try not to get grip through that supporting foot allow the body to feel strong you know and it's not about beasting the life out of ourselves it's challenging the body to build incredible foundations yeah and everything else improves after that when we get the basics right when we're efficient with our movement and balance through the body that's when the magic happens once more okay and then we're going to add a little bit more onto that okay so i'm going to do, do it side on i hope the sun doesn't become too much of a problem so you can see properly okay we're going to lift the knee and we're going to lift that same sided hand with the book to the sky okay as we draw down we're going to reach the book towards the ground and the leg comes back okay so ideally let's speed that up a little bit we don't want the book to drop to the ground okay if it doesn't touch the ground that's okay okay everything to the sky knee to the sky book to the sky hinge through the hip bend through the knee and then we draw it back up if that's a bit too much as you draw it back you can place the foot down behind you and move through to take the book down to the ground so that back foot can come behind you and we draw everything up if not we keep the foot off okay i've just kind of got my fingers on that hip uh, on the hip joint so that I can hinge, feel the hinge through there. Okay, I can feel the bottom sitting back. Amazing. I'm going to do one more of those. Oh, don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. Amazing. We take it over to the other side now. So I'm going to do it facing this way so you can see from the other angle. Now, grounded through the foot. Book to the sky, knee to the sky, we draw it down, we reach. So if you want to kind of place the fingertips of the other hand into the hinge of the hip, you'll be able to feel and guide the body. Okay, just that extra little feedback. If that's a bit too tough, we place the foot down behind us. Okay, we draw everything up. So work with the body. You can place that toe behind. Just takes away the element of balance where we can really focus on, you know, strength and stability through the hip, the knee and the core, okay? If you can keep that foot off the ground and you can keep it steady away, then that's amazing. Okay. Okay, we're going to do one more. Fantastic. We bring it back together. We give those legs a nice little shake off. And we can pop our book down for a moment. Amazing. Okay. We're just going to clasp the fingers, draw the arms out in front of us, allow the chin to rest down to the chest, round through that back. Okay, so the side view there, we're rounding through that back. And we breathe. Just enjoy that nice release around the shoulder blades. Okay, and then we. Clasp the fingers behind us. We lift and open through the chest. Amazing. Okay, we're going to take it down onto the mat now. Through a roll down. Okay, so we take it down onto the mat. We start strong as we always do. Okay, oh, I'm gonna have to shift that camera a little bit so you can see my mat. It's 
gonna cut my head off, but that's okay. It's only momentary, momentarily. Okay, so chin to the chest, we roll down through the spine into that forward fold position. Okay, we walk those hands out in front of us. Okay, and we're just gonna simply move. Oh, we've really got that sun today, haven't we? Let me see if I can sort that out. Not that I'm complaining, we really like the sun. Okay, amazing. So, we're going to draw the belly button to the sky bridge through the shoulders. And then we take it all the way down. Lift through that chest. Amazing, you know, it's just a, such a great feeling through this cat cow. Okay, just take a moment. Belly button to the sky, bridging through the shoulders, moving head to tailbone, and then we take the bottom, the belly button down, we lift and open through the chest. I'm going to do one more. Draw it all the way up to the sky. Okay, and then we take the belly button down, we open through the chest. Okay, so from here we're actually going to take it into a seated position and we're going to draw ourselves with our book onto our mat. We're going to roll down and just get yourself settled into a lovely position here. Okay, stabilize through the pelvis. Breathe out a big full breath. We're going to take hold of our book. Okay, so from here we're going to take the hands, arms nice and straight, we're going to take the hands up and behind. And then we draw it forward. Okay, so we really think about how that feels, what our range of movement's like, yeah? If you need to, um, you know, get a, a lighter book or do it without the book so you can get a wider position with the arm, you can but it's just going to give us a little bit of guidance as to what comes next with this exercise. Okay, so from here, we're going to just lift both knees to the chest. We're going to flatten the lower back to the mat, okay? And we're not going to do that by pushing the tummy out, okay? We're going to draw, gently draw the belly button towards the heart, okay? From here, arms out straight, we're going to do exactly the same, maintaining stability through the spine. Use that purposeful breath out as we take those arms back. Purposeful breath out. Amazing. Purposeful breath out. I'm going to do one more of those before we mix it up again. So from here, we're going to place both feet down, okay? We're going to take the book to the sky and we're going to lift one knee and we're going to draw the book to the knee, okay? From here, we're going to extend everything out and draw back to center, okay? We extend everything out. We draw back to center. If this is a little bit feels fairly simple and straightforward, we float both legs up, okay? We extend everything out, we draw it back in. We're going to stick with the same side, okay? We stick with the same side. Stability through the core center. Nothing moves, use the breath. Once more. change to the other side. So remember, you can do it with that foot grounded. Amazing. So this isn't about beating the life out yourself, it's about building great foundation. It's about drawing awareness to our movement and our body. Okay, to make it harder, we've broke both legs, Okay, we extend, 
There should be no lifting of the spine, the back of the mat. Okay, we've got a neutral spine, so that's that gentle arch through the lower back. And everything's strong and stable, yeah? So if you don't feel like it is in this position, okay, take the foot to the ground. It's important we feel strong and stable. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Place the book down, just hug our knees to our chest, give those legs a little wiggle. Amazing. Okay, we place the feet down and we're actually going to take it into that four point kneeling position again. This time we're going to sit the bottom back and we're going to take it into that child's pose position. And we're just going to take a moment to breathe. If this isn't so comfortable for you, I want you to just find a place that is comfortable. I just want you to just take a moment to relax. Take that grounding breath out. Let go of any tension we're holding on to. And just notice what's going on through the body. So we're just going to add a count to the breath, just to finish off on. We're going to breathe in for the count of three. We're going to breathe out for the count of six. And if that feels fairly straightforward and you know you want to create a deeper breath, we're going to breathe in for the count of four and we're going to breathe out for the count of eight. Then when you're ready, we're going to just roll up into that high kneeling position. And we are done and dusted. So that is day eight completed. I'm gonna again have to apologize for my my uh, my little children. They have they're like fog horns. I have no idea. Do you know? As soon as I press play, it's like inside volume goes to outside volume but you know what it's life and it's fun and games and we've kind of got to embrace it uh, embrace the chaos as i say um i look forward to seeing you all on day nine enjoy